Hi there folks and welcome to the another edition of Chalking with Baby Cakes. Today I'm doing it on a Saturday versus my normal Thursday because oh my gosh life gets in the way doesn't it though? Um, my silly work job was making it to where I couldn't do a live this this uh, Saturday or this Friday or Thursday. I can't even think right now. Um, so I am going to go ahead and uh, do my live today and today I am going to make a cute little um, window so you can't see all of it and I'm doing it this way because um, I just want to show you what I'm doing um, as you see I have some chicken wire here so this was an old farmhouse window um, that I had gotten somewhere along the ways I don't know where I can't remember um, and when we were trying to fix it to get it ready for me to chalk on it um, to put a cute little design on it I was, uh, the, this pain broke out. So I came up with a great idea. I'm like, well, and I, actually I, I'm borrowing some people's ideas um, of what they did with their windows, but I'm adding a little bit to it. So I wanted to put this chicken wire up here um, and keep it, just kind of keep it um, rustic and farmhouse-ish looking. And then I'm gonna end up, after I'm done chalking on it, I'm gonna put this cute, 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 um, wreath on here with and hang it on there with the burlap and I know you can't really see it too well right now um, but I will definitely be posting a picture once I am all done uh, with this project um, and it's going to be cute so what I'm going to do is I've got two different stencils I'm going to be using today I'm going to be using the buffalo plaid here um, on one side and then I'm going to use the welcome on the other side now this window isn't really gonna be for sale. Uh, what? I know you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy because I sell everything. Well, this window is actually gonna be donated uh, to the Bomber Ball, um, which is on White, which is hosted uh, by the Base Community Council um, that sponsors a uh, white men, basically. Um, so I've been asked to make something to donate to their uh, silent auction. I don't know if it's a silent auction or a regular auction. So I'm making this for, for that um, event. So it's not gonna be for sale, but if you do love this, um, just let me know and I can find one and make one for you. I'm also gonna make one for my lake house, um, which is actually where I'm coming to you from today. I know this is some big news. Um, we haven't been putting a lot out there about it, um, but we just, we just uh, purchased a house down on the lake, so we can uh, bring the boat down here and leave it down here um, and be able to come down here and hang out whenever we want to without having to trailer a boat, having to set up a camper or anything like that. So, I'm at the lake house and I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so I have my buffalo plaid and I'm gonna have to do this in two sections because as you see the buffalo plaid is a little bit short on this so i'll do a portion of the buffalo plaid and while that half of this is drying i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to go ahead and do the welcome on the other side and it's just going to turn out so adorable i cannot wait to see how this looks when i'm completely done with it and as you see i already have my paste all stirred up Nice and yummy, gooey, yogurt-like consistency. And this color is the iced coffee. I think that's the ice. Yep, iced coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slap this on here. Now remember, if you are using a stencil for the very first time, uh, you want to make sure that you go ahead and you, um, you fudge your stencil really well so it doesn't stick too much to the glass or any other type of surface that you choose to use the stencil on. Now me, this stencil, my buffalo plaid stencil, is a, a newer stencil, but some of the newer stencils aren't quite as sticky as they used to be. So it, this one, I don't, I didn't have to fuzz it. Plus I've used this one quite a bit. So I didn't have to fuzz it as much. So here I am just squeegeeing this all the the paste down and I'm gonna have to slap some more on there it looks like because I didn't get all of it there all right we keep on squeegeeing 
And then I have, I have my little wash pan that's across the way, so you'll see that I'm gonna disappear for a minute, or at least my hands are gonna disappear for a minute as I go over and I wash this stencil off so I can have the stencil drying while I do the flip side. And of course, I just put all the rest of the paste right back here into this little uh, jar. And now I'm gonna pull the stencil up and voila, look at that. Doesn't that look adorable? And I'm doing these in uh, light browns, very, or should I sh say neutral colors? I'm doing it in very neutral colors um, because I think, I think that will uh, go better. Um, sometimes neutral colors are uh, easier to mix and match in your home decor. So, but like I said, if you do end up loving this window and you want one made for you, just let me know and I can make it for you and I can personalize it any color you want to. I know, that's crazy, right? All right, so I've got this washed off. I'm gonna put it over here on my puppy pad that I have. I know, I always have my puppy pads, don't I? All right, and I'm gonna do a little bit of drying so this dries a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna wipe off the back of it because you never wanna leave water standing on your the back too long because the longer you leave the water standing, the less sticky your, your stencils will be. And uh, the whole goal is to go ahead and get as many uses out of your stencils as possible. Um, they are reusable silkscreen stencils. And, uh, and I do get a lot of uses out of my stencils. A lot of uses. All right, and I have a dog right underneath my feet. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, traditionally you would just go ahead and chalk over all of this portion, right? Well, I am going to take and flip this over and do the welcome on the other side while the buffalo plaid is drying. And I'm going to try to make sure I line this up. All right. And here I have this cute welcome sign and I'm just going to center the welcome sign. I haven't taken it off the back yet, but I just kind of want to get a eyeball it and see, see how it goes. Oh, I must have uh, some people coming in. I do. Ah, she's going to close the door and doesn't want to come in because I'm live. How funny is that? <laughs> and she's telling dad to be quiet. No. Because I'm, I'm doing the live. No, I'm not telling dad to be quiet. All right. My handy dandy little typical helper is here. All right, I'm going to fuzz this one just a little bit. This is a brand new stencil. First time I've used it. However, uh... However, um, it's not as sticky as some of the older ones are, so I'm not too worried about it. So I just put that there, and I'm going to use, okay, got that on there. I'm going to make sure I get all the air bubbles out. And then I'm going to use black. I'm going to use the black paste. All right, so... Let's see, I suppose I should go ahead and go through. I'm a little tired today. It was a, a long, long week this week. I don't know about any of y'all, but this was a super long, busy week for me at work. And I'm glad that I'm getting a little bit of chalking therapy in right now. This helps me out a lot. I do have a class that, um, a private chalk and talk that's being hosted tomorrow that I am so looking forward to uh, going and seeing the ladies there um, and doing some more chalking and then let's see next weekend next weekend I will be in Sedalia for what is it the downtown holiday Shopping extravaganza. It is a fundraiser for Cancer Perks. Um, so I will be set up down there at the Fox Theater in Sedalia. Um, then the following week starts a bunch of classes for me. Um, we have classes on Wednesday, on Friday, then again on Sunday. So Wednesday and more. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you see the welcome on there? 
You can't see the W too well because I have to get the get the buffalo plaid put back over there. So I'm gonna flip it back over. So Wednesday we'll be at Wine Antiques and More with my usual my usual friends. Um, and then Friday I will be at that one place market with Laura there in Sedalia. And then Sunday, I will be bringing a chalking class to um, the Lantern House. And I'm just going off of memory here because I didn't get my calendar out. So, and I'm pretty sure I've got this stuff pretty memorized. Um, at the Lantern House for my first time bringing chalking to the Lantern House. So, um, I have a couple designs that I have picked out um, for us to chalk there. So if you are interested in joining me in any of those, at any of those classes, um, just shoot me a message, go to the page and see how to sign up for it. And uh, we'll see you there for that. All right, this is just not wanting to be that sticky. So what I did is I kind of lined this up a little bit. All right, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get this. This is just not lining up. Well, it's lining up just fine, but it doesn't want to stick. So I'm going to try to move it over and get it lined up like this. Um, there we go. Because I want to keep it as almost as perfect as possible, you could say. And I'm pretty good at lining stuff up. I do it a lot. All right. Oh, that's sticking a lot better. All right, so now, and this is just going to be a quick live, so I just wanted to show you guys what I was working on this weekend. I think I'm going to make another one of these. If I haven't already said that, I'm going to make one for my house down here. Um, pretty excited. But I think mine is going to say something like, welcome to the welcome to the back porch or welcome to our porch because we've got an awesome deck that looks over the lake. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't think we are actually going to catch any sunrises or sunsets off of our deck, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. I'll be all right without that. Um, just so long as I can look out and see the peacefulness and it'll be, be a lot of fun. So I told you a couple of the places I was going to be the beginning of the month. Um, if you ever are looking for um, any of my stuff, my handmade stuff, um, you can go to that one place market. I do have a bunch of stuff there. Um, so go check out Laura and company and uh, see see all the stuff that I have made there. Um, I am work, still working on my website. I know I've, I've said that quite a few times. And again, my full-time job just kind of sometimes gets in the way. So... I hope to have that up and running to where you can order off of that or um, anything like that um, soon. Probably not before Christmas, but the beginning of next year, I hope to have everything up and running really good. And then after that gets up and running, of course, you'll be able to order. Um, but in the meantime, if you are ever interested in anything that I make or anything that I have on my Facebook page that you see me post out, or my Instagram page or anything like excuse me anything like that I would I would be more than happy to help you out with that I can uh, custom make stuff for you or I can um, just ship stuff out to you so I just wanted to flip this over and as you can see you can see the welcome and you can see the this little small buffalo plaid and it's I mean it does look pretty weathered which I think makes it look super cool and I just, I love how this turned out. And now uh, once I get my wreath uh, tapped on there, like I said, I'm just going to do a, have some burlap over it. And I'm just going to attach it on there like that. And bam, there you go. So as soon as I get done with this, I will post a picture out of, on uh, Facebook about it. Hope you enjoyed the live. I know this was a quick one. Um, got a lot of stuff still going on down here. So, uh. 
Thank you for watching. And if you catch me on the replay, uh, go ahead and let me know you caught me on the replay. And again, if you have any questions, want to join me at any of my classes, want to host a class, um, I am pretty booked up through the end of the year now for uh, private classes. Um, so I'm going to start looking at booking next year. So if there's something you want to get together uh, with a group of friends, a group of family or whatever, just uh, come and let me know. Um, I would be happy, happy, happy to uh, help you out there and, and come see you um, or join me at one of my already scheduled classes. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, this real quick little video, um, this real quick little live, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Saturday.